Hey, so today, guys, I am sharing the five things that I would do differently if I had to start my debt-free journey all over again. Now, after years of getting it wrong and over 11 years of now living debt-free and after helping thousands of other people over the years here at Jeffrey Dad Save and Pay Off tens of millions of dollars, we've learned some game-changing lessons that I want to share with you to help you avoid a lot of the frustration in your debt-free journey. Hey guys, welcome to today's show. I am Brad Nelson, founder of Debt-Free Debt. I paid off about $45,000 of debt. I've been debt-free now for more than 11 years outside of my mortgage. I've also been fortunate to help thousands of other people save and pay off tens of millions of dollars with the work that we do here at Debt-Free Debt. Now guys, check this out. After listening to this episode, if you're someone who's tired of paycheck to paycheck living, you're finally ready to make some changes and you're just not quite sure where to start. And maybe you wanna start seeing better results with your finances and guys, you can start seeing better results in as little as 30 to 60 days. I'm going to be sharing some details about how you can get started with that later on in today's episode. So guys, before we get to the five things that I would do different, I just want to share. Uh, the reason I wanted to create this episode and share this stuff with you guys is because we've learned so much over the years, whether it be in our debt-free journey or helping other people in their own debt-free journey. And th these would be the things that I would focus on and, and really do different because these are the things that really kind of kept me stuck the most. All right. And I think they do in some cases for a lot of other people too, especially this first one that I'm going to share. And uh, I wanted to take some time to share this because it, it's our goal for this podcast is to make your debt free journey easier with less stress and less frustration. So let's get started with mistake number one. I would avoid credit card transfer balances and consolidation loans. Now, back when I was swimming in debt, I thought that these things were like the magic fix. I mean, heck, they're even advertised to be the magic fix. Some of them are advertised to help you reach debt freedom. But spoiler alert, they're not in many cases. Now, sure, they might seem like a great way to simplify your payments or lower your interest rates, but here's the truth. Debt isn't your problem. In most cases, for most people, if you're anything like me and anybody who's here on the Debt Free Dead podcast, it's a behavior problem. It's a habit problem. It's a choices problem. You see, moving balances around won't solve the root issue, how you got into debt, right, in the first place. What does work is changing your habits, your choices, your behaviors. And until you do that, all you're going to be doing is shuffling your debt around or moving it from one location to the next, but the debt never really goes away. But those behaviors, habits, and choices are always going to be there. So you got to make sure that you have those in check. Mistake number two. I wasted way too much time taking advice from the wrong people or caring about what people thought. You know what I mean? Broke friends, broke family, broke coworkers who somehow think that they're financial experts or because they read an article online that they know everything about money. They mean well, but if someone's living paycheck to paycheck or drowning in debt, they're not the person to be taking advice from. And guys, I know that this comes off harsh because I'm not telling you to not care about your brother, your sister, your parents, your aunts, your uncles, your friends, your coworkers. I get that it can sound harsh, all right? But the reality is, is that most people are struggling. And do you know how you get more broke people? It's taking the advice from other broke people. So instead, find someone who's been where you want to go. Like, for instance, listen to this show. Someone who's living debt-free and has less financial stress, who's crushing their financial goals. Success leaves clues. Follow those, not the opinions of people who aren't even on the same path as you. Number three, guys, we talk about this a lot here on the Every Dad podcast, but it's a biggie, all right? Accountability is huge. You see, back when I was trying to figure this stuff out, I thought knowing what to do was enough, and it's not. The hard part isn't the knowledge, it's the consistency, it's the discipline. It's doing the right things over and over again, even when it's hard and when it's difficult, or even does, when it doesn't feel like you're really getting great results. That's why accountability is so crucial. Now, maybe it's a trusted friend, a spouse, or a coach, or like Roots, our membership program here, or even this podcast. For me, it's why we created the Debt-Free Dad program and this company. You see, when you've got people in your corner who's going to cheer for you and hold you accountable, you're far less likely to give up when times get tough. Mistake number four, I wish I would have started sooner. And you want to know what, guys? You guys need to get started right now, today. 
I know the excuses because I've used them myself. I'll start after the holidays. I'll start next month. It's just not the right time. Does any of that sound familiar? Here's the thing. Those excuses are just lies that we tell ourselves to justify staying comfortable. And you know what? Next month turns into next year. And before you know it, years have gone by and you're still stuck. So if I could go back, I would tell myself, start now. Don't wait. The sooner you start, the sooner you get to take your financial life back. And finally, guys, number five, letting go of the shame and embarrassment. Look, I used to beat myself up constantly for the financial mess I got myself into. I thought I was the only one who had made such stupid mistakes. But you know what I've learned after coaching thousands of people? We've all got similar stories and we've all made similar mistakes. You are not alone. You see, debt thrives in the dark and shame keeps you there. The moment you let go of the guilt and you admit, yeah, I messed things up, but I'm ready to fix it, is the moment that you take back control of your finances. So forgive yourself and focus on the future, not on the past mistakes. So there you have it, guys. Those are the five things that I would do different if I had to get out of debt all over again. So just to recap, again, number one, Skip the credit card balance transfers and the consolidation loans, at least at first. Focus on the behavior, the habits, the choices, your financial mindset, and you will find that you will make some amazing progress over time. Number two, stop taking advice from your broke friends, your broke family, and your broke coworkers. Remember, most people are living paycheck to paycheck, including most of them. Number three, get yourself an accountability system. Use this podcast. Jump on the Debt Free Dad website. Consider joining us in Roots of Personal Finance, which is our ongoing support and accountability program. These are all great ways to stay accountable to your financial goals. Number four, start right now. Stop believing these excuses and these lies and, and this idea that there's going to be this perfect time and the, the clouds are going to open up and the blue sky is going to be there and the sun's going to shine and say, today is the day. That day is never going to come. Today is the day. Start right now. And number five, let go of the shame and embarrassment. You're not alone in this journey. Now, if any of these resonate with you and you want to stop struggling and start winning with money and you want to start seeing some amazing results in just 30 to 60 days, all you have to do is head over to DebtFreeDead.com, click on the green button at the top of the page, and I'm going to show you how you get started today. Thanks for joining us on today's episode, and we will see you guys on the next show.